What's up, George? Not a damn thing. How are you, sir? I'm, I'm, I can, I am, I am doing very well. I'm actually sad to see that you're not physically beside me. Yeah, it's fucking, no, it's amazing, bro. isn't it? And just to think, we could have filmed this this past weekend, but our <laughs> dumbasses didn't bother to pay any bit of attention. George we're used and I to were straight fucking tripping. <laughs> We're too worried about talking about UFC on FX 8, and we completely forgot about UFC 160, which is a huge event. Um, we're going to start out with the lightweight bout between Donald Cerrone, the Cowboy, versus KJ Noons. Now, um, uh, it, it, Cerrone, know, Cerrone's Cerrone, come out in interviews and basically said, I'm going to keep a job if I go out there and continue to put on a show. And him coming in as number six and KJ Noons coming in as unranked with his first fight in the UFC, it'll... uh. This will be interesting to see what KJ Noons brings. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's you know Cerrone's two and two in his last you know last four fights. He had that lot that loss that decision loss to Nate Diaz, and uh, and then just more recently he had that TKO TKO to uh, Pettis. But on the other side, you got KJ Noons who earlier in his lightweight career was nasty as shit. I mean, he was just finishing people. I mean, we saw when he beat Nick Diaz back in the day, and then. Just somewhere along the line, he just seemed like he wasn't enthusiastic. Like he just—I don't know. I, well, it's he like got, he, he lost. got on that. Mm -hmm. he, he got on that strike force thing where they let him box and do MMA at the same time, and I think he got confused. Uh, I think yeah, he didn't just—he didn't take. Well, I, don't, I don't think you can be both of those. I think you have to take one very seriously. I don't. I don't right, think you yeah. get the moonlight. Right, and he's just, and you know, and he, he did. He looked, he looked. I mean, he almost looked almost disinterested at sometimes. And in his last five fights, he's one in four. Uh, who he his losses were to Nick Diaz, Jorge Masvidal, Josh Thompson. Now, when you think Nick, uh, he he had a rematch against Diaz, didn't he? Right. I'm pretty sure he did. I think he, I think he went, I think he split. Was, or he, he had an inch because he was in between. He went up to fight Nick and he fought. And I don't know. They were cash talking shit. And I, it, put it this way. I, I know he, he's got yeah, his hands uh -huh. full on Saturday. And and if he does, he, if he comes into this motherfucker disinterested, he's gonna leave snoring. So he needs to come in and hopefully he's rocking that old school pompadour like he used to rock. And he uses his <laughs> footwork and his head movement and gets in and gets out. Because I don't think KJ Nunes is gonna have enough power to knock out Cerrone, but I think he could outpoint right. him and win this via UD. But I don't it, think he's going to. I think Cerrone's gonna knock up, finish this in the second round. And that's you know what that's what's funny about it, George, is that that's. Just what you said is the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, if KJ Noons keeps it boxing and he's real methodical and he, he's crafty, he could get a UD. But the funny fucking thing is, if you look at their past history, Cerrone is almost all his wins come by uh, decision. Like, if it goes the distance, he's going to win the fight. Whereas KJ, KJ Noons, his last four losses, I think all of them were losses by decision. Yeah, but he so, beat Ryan Couture. I don't see how you can outstrike, outstrike your opponent in all three rounds and lose a match. That shit don't make no sense. That It makes absolutely no sense at all. But, you know, who knows? Maybe some politics played a part in that. We don't know. Well, anyway. I got the Cowboy winning in round two. Who do you have winning? Actually, I got the Cowboy finishing him off in round two as well. Because he looks like, like what you said, it looks like he's going to press it, man. Comical, brash, and yeah, sometimes politically incorrect. The Uncut Sports Show. Non-traditional sports coverage delivered the way you like it. By your uncensored co-hosts, Kevin White and George Bedford.